You win again, you rotten thing, you! I'll be back! again Thursday day four we uh I don't know we got three half three quarters of an inch snow last night and it warmed up overnight it's 36 degrees right now even right up here in the mountains uh but all the tracks are reset it's going to warm up even more throughout the day it's supposed to get up in the mid to upper 40s so things going to be melting out fast the snow is going to be dropping away fast just waiting for it to get a little bit lighter here. I'm going to sneak in the same uh, gated road and hunt these winter roads that I've been hunting. Hopefully we can pick up a track first thing uh, and stay with it. Uh, yesterday when I was up in those, uh, once I got up above about 2,600 feet, 27, 2,800 feet up there, there's quite a lot of snow. It was up, up my ankles. Uh, compared down in the roads, there's only probably two inches to settle down. We're going to go after them anyways. Hopefully we get into something and be able to hang with it. Hopefully the snow hangs with us for most of the day. Going to be a few, a little bit of rain coming through off and on, but hopefully it doesn't amount to too much. Uh, it's supposed to cool back off tonight, but if there's any snow left, it's going to be awful crunchy. So we'll hit a hard again today, see what we can do. Maybe we'll have a little action. All right, saw a fair amount of fresh tag tracks walking in, but they just weren't super duper. Didn't feel like I really wanted to take them. One was super fresh too, but just wasn't quite there. Uh, I get in this road quite a ways and I see a track. It had quite a lot of age on it, but it was good size. We walked down the road right in my yesterday's boot tracks quite a ways and then the road turned went straight up a twitch road had quite a lot of age on it it was going to go up through some big cuttings I looked at on that real quick and I could see that the road that was turning left there where he went straight looped right up on top of the mountain and connected right back onto the road he went up there up probably three quarters of a mile or so so I put the feet right to and stayed it on that road then I came and uh, went in hit that trail that he was walking up way down below. And that trail goes right down along the base of this steep mountain behind me. So I should cut right over until I hit the base of that mountain. And I started working my way back down because then I had it locked right in. And uh, I found his, found his track. It looks quite a lot fresher than it did down below. So we're going to give it a go and see, see what it looks like. good track give us something to run and it's headed downhill my legs were pretty tight this morning after the big run yesterday but let's get at it well I just followed those tracks for I don't know two three hundred yards and I run into quite a stretch of leaping leaping tracks running tracks uh, I don't think I don't believe that he saw me real crusty up above it's just starting to soften up now so it's not too super loud it was super loud up above down here i noticed he'd take three or four of them big leaps then he'd walk quite a ways then three or four more of those big leaps and walk quite a ways so i think i jumped him but i don't i'm not convinced that he knows exactly what i am or if he didn't saw me he just might have heard me hammering away through that crust I'm just going to give him a couple minutes. I'm going to eat my sandwich real quick so I can push him, 
push him after this. So I'm gonna give him a little bit, just in case I did bump him. It's super fresh track, so I'm not worried about uh, losing too much time by taking a break on him. Uh, up above there where we cut that track is a nice deer trail. They've been running back and forth to access. This mountain's pretty steep on the side. There's one little crevice that goes up along there that makes a nice little trail so they can get up around there easier. They've been, well, at least one more bucket gone up through there. And uh, this bucket come down out of there, two different tracks. And there was uh, a couple of does that went up and down there as well. And this was all since yesterday's snow and there were all the tracks that I couldn't even see. So I marked that on Onyx. If we lose the snow and I don't run this guy down, that might be a good place for me to do a day set tomorrow. Looking down through this nice kind of open down through here, but the deer don't seem to find it. So quite a few fresh tracks down through here. And those. It goes right up to the head of it here and right up through that uh, deer trail that goes up this mountain. This mountain is the uh, one I named Matchstick Mountain that I went up over the top of yesterday with that bug. So, give me a little break, eat my sandwich, see what we can do. This is always the toughest part for me. I don't know if you've ever sat and waited for 30 minutes while you're on a fresh buck track. A big fresh buck track. But it takes a long, long time for 30 minutes to pass. Uh, I was right in the middle of a hardwood ridge. I didn't really have a good spot to build even a smudge to toast my sandwich. Oh, I'm just sitting here, playing cat's cradle. Looking, peeking around, thinking. It takes forever. Still got 10 more minutes to go. Hold, hold strong. I only gave that one 15 yesterday, and I think, I think that was a mistake. I thought he was going to shoot across the Canadian border. I was only 300 yards away, but like Hal told me, the first, he'd be 300 yards in no time. What's 15 minutes going to make any difference? He could have been 300 yards if he was going that way in one minute. Uh, that was a little foolish on my part, but it's all about the experience. I'll know better next time, like this time. I put this, chain myself to this log for 30 minutes with a time lock. It's about the only way I can stay here. All right, see you down the track. All right, I just came up on the first bed. I didn't have much warning because he only fed about 15 to 20 feet around where I bedded. It doesn't look like a running track leaving. So maybe I didn't jump him off in there. But he's the bed. since he walked out of that bed. I'm right back out on the top side of that clear cut where I lost that buck yesterday. That track's real, real similar. Might be the same one. We even came down that same deer trail that I came down yesterday off the side of that mountain. Came right down the same exact lane. We just made a different route around the mountain. Uh, keep pushing on. Still got plenty of time. Just putting one foot right in front of the other, so I think I'm just gonna put the speed right to it now and hopefully uh gets tired and beds down again. See how it goes. Well, I just jumped him for sure. He was blowing like heck at me. I was going up one of these chutes up behind me here. Up this mountain. See what up there pretty good. Pretty good distance. I don't know if you these GoPros don't always show the best, but we got there. Pretty good distance. Moving right up, he's moving right up that chute right straight ahead. I was thinking to myself, boys, I think he would feed in bed again, because that bed was probably a mile back, and he weren't in it very long, because it was just barely laid in. And, uh, went too much further than that. I went along, started to take a direct hard left and I said oh something's going on here it's time to go easy and I mean it wasn't five seconds after I thought that down behind me probably 200 yards <laughs> dirty down over the mountain he was hitting I followed his tracks around in there because I was going to give him some time anyways 
and he did the old big old classic Jayhawk. He swung right around this way, circled all the way back down around. I never did see a bed in there, but he put the big circle on me. The wind was blowing right in my face when I was coming up the mountain. He must have, I don't know, suspected I was behind him or something, or saw or heard something he didn't like. He put that big swing on, come right back down around, so he's almost directly behind me. And uh, took the blow when he picked up my wind. It's quite a, uh, it was a, he come right down through all that big green stuff, so I couldn't see him, you know, off, he, off to the side when I was going up. Second the dickens over in there. I'm pretty sure this is the same buck we run yesterday. We're right in the, right, still running around that same area where we ended. And uh, the track looks almost identical. I think it's still him. But, uh, let's see. It's, uh, 11.32. we got all kinds of time still to have him teach us a few lessons. we get got, uh, well, we're pushing eight miles yeah close to nine miles oh <laughs> it's gonna be a long one he knows what's up now I've had time to catch up with him and see him when they don't know what's up so this can be real tough but at least right now he's headed in a direction that's closer not further away from the truck well I'm gonna give him a little more time we're gonna give him another go see what we can do well, I've been trailing that buck for a long time. He, uh, just walking one foot in front of the other, he came down off that mountain, across that winter road that I came in on. No, not the one that I came in on, the one that I came out on last night. He went right down into some wicked thick jack fares. I noticed that the winter road, looped right around them jack fares went on the back side so I run up the road and run up around there came in the back side I was hoping he'd come out across the road when I was going around but he didn't he stayed right in there and I cut in hit his track I think I saved some time there and uh he kind of stayed right but right in the woods between the two winter roads kind of in these old old cuts here Moving around, back and forth, up and down and around, just walking. I uh, think he got quite a ways ahead of me when he run, and I give him that break. And uh, I don't know, it's probably been, I'd say, two and a half miles since I jumped in the first time. And I was just crossing this brook down here, and this cut started to come up on the other side. I get up there and all of a sudden I noticed he had stopped walking and he went and took a hard right right into the brush. And right in the brush in there, they'd uh, he had a rub. So he wasn't too nervous. He must have thought that I'd given up on him. So he rubbed that rub. And apparently while he was rubbing that rub is when I must have came down the ridge on the other side to come down and cross the brook. Because from there it was just big leaping tracks going right up across this cut right in the wrong direction from where I want to go. Well, probably, I think it's, I don't know, 220 or so. Yeah, it's after two, just a quarter mile short of 10 miles. He's running the wrong direction. Uh, I don't think I have any time to do anything with him. All I think I'd be doing is giving myself a late night. Uh, it's been another fun day on the track. We'll get success one of these times. We keep at it. Keep learning these, learning the mistakes and the right things to do, and eventually it all come together. I'll catch one in the right place. Yep, and having a ball. Still got uh, today's Thursday. Still got Friday and Saturday up here in the North Woods, Big Woods, Jackman area. Then uh, next week we'll be back over home, doing some hunting over there. If we don't uh, get the job done here in the next couple of days, but either way, it's been just a great ball over here. Great ball. Talk to you later. Oh, and I can't forget my favorite part. You win again, you rotten thing, you! I'll be back! There, that feels much better. <laughs>